welcome to youtube channel scientific underscore norm in this lecture we will learn norm of a matrix or a uh, vector okay so the learning objectives are the definition of norm and the type of norm okay so uh, we will also learn also understand the concept of a norm with the help of example one by one l1 norm l2 norm and l infinity norm okay so in this lecture we will only first three types of uh, norms we will discuss and we will solve examples related to these norms and in next lecture we will uh, discuss the popping of norms okay so let's start today lecture first we have the l infinity norm and the matrix infinity norm is given by uh, this formula okay so what uh, what is indicating this formula this one is the absolute values of the element in each row of the matrix are added okay so means first we take the absolute of the value uh, in each row and then we add up uh, all all uh, values in a row and then we pick up the largest value and that will be assigned to the infinity norm okay so uh, uh, we understand this with the help of example and we have a example determine the infinity norm for the and we have a four class four matrix okay so this one is the given formula uh, that one uh, for the l infinity norm and uh, okay so for uh, i is equal to one mean first row and for j is equal to one to four means okay i is equal to 1 means we have this one is the first row and for j is equal to 1 to 4 means we add up all the uh, first elements in each column okay so this one we have okay so uh, first we take we have a definition uh, first we take the absolute of values we take the absolute of all values in a first row means uh, the all values of uh, first of uh, columns in uh, that one is the uh, in each column the first element are uh, of each column in a first row okay so and uh, then we add up all these values so uh, i will repeat again first we take the absolute value first we take the absolute of each value and then we add up all these values that are in a first row so this one is equal to 13 and uh, next for i is equal to 2 and j is equal to again 1 to 4 okay so this will be have this row second row okay so first we take absolute of all these values and then we add up okay so then we have the answer of this one after adding we have 15 and uh, similarly for uh, j for i is equal to 3 and j is equal to again 1 to 4 so we have this one row okay so again after adding up all these values absolute values we have this mission is a, a 20 and similarly for i is equal to 4 and j is equal to 1 to 4 okay so we have the sum is 17 okay now we write all these uh, like that the infinity norm of the matrix is equal to maximum of the sum of absolute values uh, in each row that is 13 15 and 20 and 17 okay so we can see that the 20 is the maximum value the maximum sum of the absolute values uh, absolute values uh, in a row okay so this that is equal to 20 means the infinity norm of the matrix is equal to 20 okay l1 norm okay so the matrix one norm is calculated by this one it is similar to the infinity norm except the summation of the absolute values of the element is done for each column okay so we know that uh, we do summation absolute values of the elements in uh, each row of the matrix in l infinity norm but in this case we do the summation in each column or uh, for each column okay so we understand this concept with the help of example and we have the example determine the l1 norm of the matrix for the matrix from this 4 cross 4 matrix okay so 
we have the formula and uh, this one is the maximum sum of the absolute value uh, in uh, for a column okay so uh, for uh, first we uh, do summation for uh, j for uh, j is equal to 1 and for i is equal to 1 to 4 okay this means and we add up the uh, all values in the first column okay so first column this one is the r1 r2 r3 r4 means row 1 row 2 row 3 and row 4 and for j is equal to 1 so j is equal to 1 and i is equal to 1 to 4 for row okay so we have some mission for the j is equal to 1 to 4 and the absolute values of the uh, elements in a column okay for in the first column okay so first we take the absolute of each value in a column and then we add up and the summation of this one is equal to 14 okay next again okay, next we uh, will do for j is equal to 2 means for second column for and uh, for all rows for j is equal to 1 to 4 okay so we have this one and uh, with now we will uh, add up all these values for you take the absolute value of all one and then we add up okay so after uh, taking absolute and add up we have the a sum is 15 and similarly four. okay so now we write this one as the norm of the matrix one norm of the matrix is equal to maximum of uh, these values and we know that the maximum uh, here we have that is 19 so this mean the l1 norm of the matrix is 19 l2 matrix norm okay so now we will uh, discuss the l2 norm okay and uh, here we have a formula to calculate the l2 norm we can calculate the l2 norm by uh, finding the uh, eigen values are by using this one okay so i will calculate the uh, l2 norm by using by calculating the eigen values okay so this means the maximum eigen value of the matrix will be the l2 norm for a given matrix okay so uh, we understand this concept with the help of example and we have a matrix that is a is equal to minus 3 minus 4 5 and 6 okay solution so uh, we have a solution first we calculate the eigen values for the given matrix and uh, uh, i will calculate the eigen values uh, like this one first we write the characteristic equation that is lambda square minus trace of the matrix this one into lambda plus the uh, determinant of the matrix given matrix a will be is equal to zero okay so this one is the trace what is trace trace is the sum of elements along the diagonal in sum of elements along the diagonal and the sum of this one will be okay three and this one is second one is this one is the determinant of the matrix okay so at the face of the matrix is equal to minus three plus six, six is equal to three because we, we know that the face is the sum of the elements along the diagonal and the determinant of this matrix is two okay so putting all these values in characteristic equation and we have the characteristic equation is this one and uh, put all these equation values in this one okay characteristic equation so after substituting we have the characteristic equation is this one now we uh, solve this equation by midterm breaking and uh, after midterm breaking we have lambda 1 is equal to 1 and the lambda 2 is equal to 2 okay so we have two eigenvalues and uh, now we write this as the l2 norm of the matrix is equal to the maximum eigenvalue and in this case we have the maximum eigenvalue is 2 so the l2 norm of the matrix is 2 okay so uh, this is uh, all about the uh, norms of a matrix how we can calculate the l infinity norm l1 norm and l2 norm of the matrix in the next video lecture we will discuss Happiness now. Okay, so thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math for more videos. Hello, hello.
L2 matrix now. Okay. So now we will uh, discuss the L2 norm. Okay. And uh, here we have a formula to calculate the L2 norm. We can calculate the L2 norm by uh, finding the uh, eigenvalues or by using this one. Okay. So I will calculate the uh, L2 norm by using by calculating the eigenvalues. Okay. So this means the maximum eigenvalue of the matrix will be the L2 norm for a given matrix. Okay. So uh, we understand this concept with the help of example and we have a matrix that is A is equal to minus 3, minus 4, 5, and 6. Okay. Solution. So uh, we have a solution. First, we calculate the eigenvalues for the given matrix and uh, uh, I will calculate the eigenvalues uh, like this one. First, we write the characteristics equation that is lambda square minus trace of the matrix. This one into lambda plus the uh, determinant of the matrix given matrix A will be is equal to zero. Okay, so this one is the trace. What is trace? Trace is the sum of elements along the diagonal. Means sum of elements along the diagonal, and the sum of this one will be okay three. And this one is second one is this one is the determinant of the matrix. Okay, so at the trace of the matrix is equal to minus three plus six, six is equal to three because we, we know that the trace is the sum of the elements along the diagonal and the determinant of this matrix is two. Okay, so putting all these values in characteristics equation and we have the characteristic equation is this one and put all these equation values in this one. Okay, characteristics equation. So after substituting, we have the characteristics equation is this one. Now we uh, solve this equation by midterm breaking, and after midterm breaking, we have lambda one is equal to one, and the lambda two is equal to two. Okay, so we have two eigenvalues, and uh, now we write this as the L2 norm of the matrix is equal to the maximum eigenvalue and in this case we have the maximum eigenvalue is 2 so the l2 norm of the matrix is 2 okay so uh, this is uh, all about the uh, norms of a matrix how we can calculate the l infinity norm l1 norm and l2 norm of the matrix in the next video lecture we will discuss this norm Okay, so thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math for more videos. Hello. Hello. L1 norm. Okay, so the matrix one norm is calculated by this one it is similar to the infinity norm except the summation of the absolute values of the element is done for each column okay so we know that uh, we do summation absolute values of the elements in uh, each row of the matrix in l infinity norm but in this case we do the summation in each column or uh, for each column okay so we understand this concept with the help of example and we have the example determine the l1 norm of the matrix for the matrix and this can be the four cross four matrix okay so we have the formula and uh, this one is the maximum sum of the absolute value uh, in uh, for a column okay so uh, for uh, first we, we do summation for uh, j for uh, j is equal to 1 and for i is equal to 1 to 4 okay this means and uh, we add up the uh, all values in the first column okay so first column this one is the r1 r2 r3 r4 means row 1 row 2 row 3 and row 4 and for j is equal to 1 so j is equal to 1 and i is equal to 1 to 4 for row okay so we have submission for the j is equal to 1 to 4 and the absolute values of the uh, elements in a column okay for in the first column okay so first we take the absolute of each value in a column and then we add up and the submission of this one is equal to 14 okay 
next again next we uh, will do for j is equal to 2 means for second column for and uh, for all rows for j is equal to 1 2 4 okay so we have this one and uh, with now we will uh, add up all these values for you to the absolute value of all one and then we add up okay so after uh, taking absolute and add up we have the a sum is 15 and similarly okay so now we write this one as the norm of the matrix one norm of the matrix is equal to maximum of these values and we know that the maximum here we have that is 19 so this means the l1 norm of the matrix is 19 